Hey everyone, welcome back to another video by Camroom5. In today's video, we are going to build up on what we did last time. We dealt with three important enthalpy cycles, including the formation, combustion, and reaction. And in today's task, we'll be doing some past paper questions. Let's look at this question. It says, the equation for reaction one is shown. In reaction one, you are reacting C6H12O6 and making carbon dioxide and ethanol. We can't call it combustion because you're not getting carbon dioxide and water. It's not even formation. So let's just simply call it enthalpy of reaction. Let's call it enthalpy for an unknown reaction. If we look at the options and the data also, it is giving us the combustion enthalpy. It is giving us the combustion enthalpy for the C6 compound and obviously ethanol. And then it is asking for the reaction one. If you follow my previous video, we talked about these kinds of questions. In this scenario, if I rewrite the equation for you guys, you can notice it is C6H12O6 reacting to make double moles of carbon dioxide and double mole of ethanol. The combustion of C6H12O6 would have been that you make complete carbon dioxide and water from it. So it would have looked 6 moles of carbon dioxide and obviously 6 moles of water. That would have been the combustion of C6 compound enthalpy A. If you notice what is B, so B is the combustion of ethanol. B is the combustion of ethanol, which would obviously make carbon dioxide and water. Even though the balancing is not there completely, but you can see that two carbon dioxides are here already. And you can get four carbon dioxide from this compound. And that would be called B. The first arrow is the enthalpy for reaction. You have to ask yourself, which one is the direct method? If you notice the reaction and the combustion of ethanol is indirect method, but the combustion of the reaction reactant basically is the direct method. So this is your direct method. And this one is your step one and two indirect method. So our equation becomes very simple, right? Our equation becomes enthalpy for reaction plus B, which is obviously ethanol, but make sure you are using two moles ethanol. So you multiply the B by two because you're using two moles ethanol plus two B is equals to A. If you want the enthalpy for reaction, so if you want enthalpy for reaction, you put A minus two B. So A minus two B should have been the correct answer. Let's move on and let's look at this question. It says which expression gives the standard enthalpy change of combustion for methane. Now combustion of methane means that CH4 is producing carbon dioxide and water. So it is producing carbon dioxide and water. For the sake of balancing, I'm writing two waters. And that would be standard enthalpy combustion for methane. We also know that in the question MCQs, we have formation of water and then formation of carbon dioxide and formation of methane also. Starting from the pure elements, starting from the pure elements, you take carbon and hydrogen to make methane. So I'm making an arrow upwards. Starting from carbon and hydrogen and making methane would have been called standard enthalpy formation for methane. And then the other method could have been that you make pure carbon dioxide and hydrogen from the same elements and you would have called it standard enthalpy formation for carbon dioxide and standard enthalpy formation for water. Don't forget to put a two around water because you are using 
double mole hydrogen to make double mole water if we go back to the same question you can see making methane and then combusting methane is indirect method but making carbon dioxide and water directly would have been a very simple direct method so formation of carbon dioxide and water is a direct method but formation of methane and then combusting methane would have been indirect steps so our equation becomes formation of methane and then combusting the methane formation and then combustion of the same methane would have been equal to directly forming the carbon dioxide and obviously directly forming the water without having to go through methane values don't forget the two around water in this way we are supposed to find the combustion of methane so this value goes on that side of the equation we get formation of carbon dioxide and formation of water minus formation methane so if you notice which MCQ fits that formation of carbon dioxide and formation of water minus formation of methane option D would have been the very right answer let's move on and let's look at this question it says standard enthalpy changes of formation are given and the question is about propane one ol what's the standard enthalpy change of combustion for propane one mole propane one ol in kj per mole let's look at this question again so formation of propanol and carbon dioxide in water is given and obviously at the same time combustion of propanol is asked you know we have done a very similar kind of enthalpy cycle recently let's draw it in order to make propanol which is CH3 CH2 CH2OH you would use 3 mole carbon and obviously 4 mole hydrogens and half mole oxygen that would have been your formation of propanol so let's label it formation of propanol then you are also combusting it according to the question values the question is con concerned about the combustion so you could have combusted it to make carbon dioxide and water the balancing would be 3 mole carbon dioxide and 4 moles water you would have called it combustion of the same propanol this is a continuation you make propanol then you combust propanol wouldn't it be easier if you made carbon dioxide directly from the elements and you made water directly from the elements so that would have been called standard enthalpy formation of carbon dioxide three times and standard enthalpy formation for water four times making propanol and then combusting is indirect method but making the carbon dioxide would have been the direct method so your equation becomes three times the formation of carbon dioxide which is minus 394 and four times the formation of water which is minus 286 is equal to making the propanol making propanol is minus 303 which is given over here making the propanol and then combusting the propanol which is the question asking and combusting the propanol which is the question asking for if you want to find the combustion of the propanol you just put this minus value over here as a positive value so look at your answers it is minus 394 times 3 and 4 times minus 286 plus 303 so your 303 has to be in positive it's not positive here so cancel it is not positive here so cancelled it is either B or D in option D the problem is that the negative is missing so that is why B for Barrows is the right answer let's move on and let's do one more question before we can sum up the video hydrogen chloride undergoes a reversible reaction with oxygen the reaction is carried out at 400 degrees Celsius in the presence of copper 2 chloride catalyst. 
Use the data in the table to calculate the overall enthalpy change of reaction. So they have given us the enthalpy formation. They have given us enthalpy formation values. Now, if we know the enthalpy formation for oxygen is zero because oxygen is already an element. So enthalpy formation for oxygen is equals to zero and enthalpy formation for chlorine is also zero because elements formation is always taken as zero. They're already elements. They're already elements. You don't have to make them. So let me write this equation again. 4 HCl and oxygen to make two moles of chlorine and two moles of water. That is the equation my question is concerned with. I'm just writing it irreversibly, although it's reversible. Enthalpy formation means that you're making them from elements. To make HCl from elements, the equation would have been two times mole of hydrogen and two times moles of chlorine gas to make HCl. That would have been the formation of HCl. So you call it formation of HCl value, which is minus 92. But don't forget to multiply it by 4 because you're making 4 moles here. If you notice, the formation of water is also given. Formation of water would mean using the same hydrogen along with 1 mole oxygen to make water it would have been minus 242 times double because you're making two moles water. The first equation is enthalpy for reaction which your question is concerned with. If you notice this is your indirect method because you're making HCl and then reacting HCl, wouldn't it be okay if you directly made the products? So in this way, 4 times minus 92 and the enthalpy for reaction is equal to minus 242 times 2. When you find the enthalpy for reaction, it becomes minus 242 times 2 plus 92 minus 92 times 4. If we solve it mathematically, let's pick a calculator. It's minus 242 times 2 then plus because because you know you are putting this value from negative to over there positive so let me remove the negative here let me put it this way yes plus 92 times 4 so the value is minus 116 kj per mole this is how you solve these kind of questions I hope these ideas are clear for you guys. Stay tuned. Thanks.